The Ant once again with a Magic Legends video. And I'm going to do a, a whole series. It's Pardon me for being a little bit um, sort of uh, erratic with the, the content regarding this game because I'm still learning it as we go. What I'm going to be doing is updating you with uh, new discoveries and make this guide sort of a, a growing and... Um, I don't know what you want to call it, um, an organically grown uh, update with all of the tips and tricks that I learned along the way. So today we're going to talk about changing your um, your outfit at the tailors, kind of a brief discovery of the map and sort of how to, how to navigate around. And let's get started. So first we're going to talk about the F1 button. That is your, um, you always hit F1. F1 is the place to be. F1 gives you everything from the map, the guide, which shows you all of your uh, daily quests and quest lines and rewards available for each zone, all these other great things. Also, your progress along your... Um, you've got these all these acts and, and progress to the sort of solo campaign. You'll see that, you know, Benalia is completed. You don't have to um, do these in a particular order, and they sort of scale with what you're doing and your level etc. You can also change the difficulty of each area and I can show you that. Um, but this is really this video wasn't really intended to talk to you about the map. I'll do that another time. This specifically is to use this. You go to the Eternities map and this is your um, hub for all of your what's fast travel or planes walking needs. So the important things to remember here is each zone has a breakdown once you go there. Uh, if it has multiple zones in it. Dominaria is also uh, where you have Talaria, Shiv, and Banalia. If you go back up another level, Gavani only has one system or one rank, one whatever location. Tazim, the same thing. This is your starter zone, though. You do have to play in Tazim first before you unlock the ability to go out to any others. The two others we have over here is the Your Realm, which we just were in. Um, I'll do a more in-depth deep dive there. But today we're going to check the Sanctum out. Now, the Sanctum is your social hub, uh, if you were going to call it that. It's at least a place where everyone gathers and you can see people roaming around and hanging out at their various vendors and, and those types of things. So we're going to talk about the tailor today. And um, gladly, you have this amazing map that doesn't give you any indication of where to go. You have to just explore. But I'm going to make it easier for you and explore directly the tailor. Now the tailor does have some, there are tailors in other zones, but this, the reason I go to the hub here is because I know exactly where to go and I don't have to worry about, you know, fighting mobs along the way. It's a safe area to be. And again, you can look at all the different um, users and you can hang out with them and, you know, let's see if we can slash dance. You can't dance, so go ahead and uninstall. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you being here, but since we can't dance or do fun things like that, I don't really know what the, what the point of playing the game is. If you're still with me and you want to play a, a game that doesn't allow you to dance in public, then we're going to click the Taylor, talk to Taylor. In my case, it's F. You might have another button, depending on the control scheme you use. We're going to continue and we're going to say Taylor. Now here's uh, the cool part. You've got all the locked Taylors stuff which I don't really like seeing I mean I guess it's cool that you can like have a wish list like I wish I had that hat uh, but I just go to usable and these are unlocked by various drops in the world so when you are exploring and doing stuff and and you will often come here to just see what's new in your uh, outfit choices once you have selected what you like in this case I went with a lot of Azorius I'm pretty bland um, when it comes to design like I always keep the the chest and the boots and the gloves matching because um, being creative and mixing and matching pieces to me um, is wonderful if you want to do that, but I like the sy symmetry and whatever. So because I'm playing an Azorius build right now, um, which is white and blue, I went with the Azorius armor. So nothing too super creative or interesting here on my build. But I just wanted to show you that you select all the accoutrements and the various parts of the thing. And when you go to choose color, the interesting thing about this is it actually doesn't allow you to choose multiple colors from multiple pieces. 
it it defaults every piece to the same color scheme. So when you're choosing color, don't don't think that you're going to get green boots and blue a blue top and a red helmet because these are not independent. These are the overall color scheme, as you can see. These are not the color scheme based on each piece of gear, which I think is unfortunate. But hey, you also can't dance. So uninstall if you don't like any of the things that I'm pointing out. So the cool thing is you go to save outfit or load outfit. I currently have three outfits. I have Orzov, Azorius, and Celestia. I think they look pretty cool, and we're, we're trying to be thematically correct and a little bit different in each one. So on my Celestia build, I'll change to this outfit. On my Azorius build, clearly, this outfit. Maybe I need green pants. I might go with green pants on this. Let's change that and show you how that looks. No, I think brown pants actually fit. I just don't like the boots and the pants being the same color sometimes. But I actually think it's okay. Um, what would I switch them to? Let's look at pants. What looks better? White isn't bad. I Ooh, that's kind of not bad. It matches the goldish. A different color brown. Sleek, shiny pants. Can't go wrong with shiny pants. See how the color is, doesn't match? Um, hmm. I actually think this is probably... Color palette-wise, I think this is actually the better choice than what I had. That's horrible. I mean, this isn't bad because it does fit the browns in the belts and the leathers. But it matches the boots so much that I think this is the right choice. Khakis. All right, we're going to go with this choice. So I'm going to save the outfit here. And I'm going to load this one back because I'm wearing it currently. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so that's how you edit your um, outfits, and that's how you load them in for the particular uh, outfit you want to wear at the time. And we're going to exit out of this. I don't understand. Didn't make any changes. State current outfit. Um, sure. I don't think I made changes, but that's okay. Then you have to say goodbye because it's the polite thing to do. And there you have it. There are that's the tailoring. So let's see what else is in this uh, sanctum. We have over here. We have a PVP dude. He lets you. You talk to the battle master. And you basically, when you talk to him, you queue up. You can either change your mind and back out, or then you queue up for a duel. And let's do it. Let's see what, let's see what a duel looks like. I'll instantly be killed, because I'm not built for PvP. But searching for a match, it might take 20 minutes. I don't know how many people are PvPing at the moment. Uh, but we can run around, because we're, we're in the queue currently. We'll show you what that looks like once we get there. And then we'll just do a little more exploration. You get to talk to Jeffrey BBBBB. Hello, Jeffrey BBBBB. Passing by, you get to talk to random strangers. Hello, will you be my friend? Oh, wow, rude. Hey, guys, don't mean to interrupt your conversation, but yeah. Hey, this guy looks friendly. What is he doing? Why is he so emotive? Uh, all right, well, this conversation has got boring quick. Thanks. What's over here? What are, what's everyone hanging out over here for? So this is the um, this is Raoul. He is the beginning quest person. Tell me about yourself and farewell. We're just gonna say farewell. Uh, you'll talk to Raoul in the opening quest, and he might have some things to say at the beginning. What's over here? Ah, we have Joda. Let's talk to Joda. What is he up to? We ask him how he knows Raoul. I think this is a fun one. Mysterious woman. What about her? Something on the chest. Similar chest piece reminds me of something I saw many, many years ago. So like Mirage Block? Yes. Uh, what what do you, what is the symbol that he's he's referring to? I'm hesitant to speak about it in detail without knowing more. Give me some time. Uh okay. You mind if I look through your cool telescope? Protect us. Alright. I'm gonna get out of this conversation. He's very talkative. All right, let me look through the uh, telescope. What can we see? 
see far, far away. I can almost, if you if you look, oh, here we go. It's up to match. Sometimes you can see Uranus. Sometimes you can see Saturn. I'll be here all week, folks. All right, well, for some reason, getting queued up takes minutes, and then your duel begins in a minute and 12 seconds. So what can we do for a minute and 12 seconds? Maybe we can hit F and accelerate this. So that seems like a long time to wait. Okay, good. All right, what am I going to do? Shatter seems good. Tellurian wins is a condition. I want to stun my opponent if possible. Let's open with this. Boom. Hey, hey. And I'm going to hit him with this. Whoa, oh, boom. I missed. Great. The creatures? Is that what he's doing? Bam. Stop running. I'm going to get you. But I like his uh, I like his style. Run away and let his creatures do a lot of the work. It's not bad. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, he grabbed me with a big vine. I like it. I like it. Bam. Ooh, I got my dragon out. I got my dragon out. Do some work, dragon. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Okay, I've got pets too. I can do that. Missed me. Missed me. Did he really just blaze my... Oh, it was only 15 seconds. That's why he, he got it. I like what he's doing, though. I like his, his uh, play style. Using rocks to block me. Not bad, not bad. Here we go. Boop. Ooh, angel time. It's angel time. Chain Warden. That'll be good. Got him. Oh, almost got him, almost got him. Griffin. All right, now we got. Now we're working. Green warden. Okay, I can't let that happen. That's gonna be bad news for me. Then I take a lot more damage from the dude. Okay, we need better creatures, I think. Very evasive. I don't. I think this is a great. I'm having fun. Usually get one shot, that's what I'm saying, it's fun, because it's not fun getting one shot, for sure. Why do I only have creatures and no spells? Very unfortunate. Learn wins. Let's get a new, uh, let's get some stuff going on here. Oh, just missed. Boop. Come on. Why isn't it going off? Why are my spells going off? What's going on? Use my ultimate, and I'm not getting caught up. Oh well. Say la vie. Missed. I don't know why my spells aren't working, though. It's really unfortunate. Wow. They definitely got me on the mobility thing. I don't know what's going on with my buttons. Like, seriously. Why am I shooting when I'm trying to move? Very unfortunate. Okay, now they're at the point where they're doing extra damage, which I respect. setting okay midget godzilla all right phantasmagoria coming up and we've got chain warden which can throw a stun out Oop. i missed 
Bit of proc, anyways. Boop. What we'll do is we'll force them to come towards us instead of hiding back behind that rock with the Phantasmagoria. I think that's pretty good. We can pin them down by doing things like that. Casual Shiv and Dragon. And let's move that out of the way. Whee! Get some heals on. Boom, 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 boom. Victory! Did I do it? Did I win PvP? Nice. Good game. I don't think I can talk to them. I think this is just all fun stuff. Dragons, dragons, dragons. My dragons did some work. Phantasmagoria. They were running around very evasively, and I had to figure out how to stop them from doing that. So I think putting hazard hazards down on the opposite side of the rock was the key. So look at me. I am a, I don't know what I'm, so I'm a PvP pro, apparently. So if you need your t any tips on PvPing, that's how you do it. Uh, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. So I'm sure there's people that were just cringing. Like, you should have a one-shot kill. If you don't have a one-shot kill, then you are terrible. And if that's the case, eh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not being the best. I just like to have fun. And that was fun. I had an engaging, fair battle. Um, I think they were trying to get their Green Warden uh, combo thing off to abuse that, but I was lucky to shut it down. I believe towards the end of the first match they'd had it, but I was able to avoid the, the big scary things. Plus I'm a Sanctifier so I can bubble and heal myself, and that's pretty rough for PvP. Alright, so what's this? Why is everyone here? This is the Scales of Justice, or the what's more it's actually called the... Uh, a consignment broker. Now, what you do at the consignment broker is a little bit interesting in, in um, I don't know. I, I'm not a pro at this, but let's, we can see how it works, and it doesn't give you any good information, so let's just say back, and we're going to say consignment broker. Here's Here it is. This is where you sell and buy all these things, spell pages, world enchantments, and pack unlocks. Now, you, you want, might want to look at this and go, hey, what are these things? These are world enchants. World enchants are used on um, specific difficulties only, so sort of end game things, and you use these to drop into a particular run that you're doing. And when you're on that particular run, there's a menu, which I can show you later, but you can select world enchants, which give you sort of the benefits for the group that you're with, for the entirety of that run. And the benefits can be, you know, a whole bunch of different types of things. I don't even know if it will give us the details. Let's click it and find out. Why would it? Why would it? So you're going to have to read the description and say, hey, I think air support would be a great idea. What does that mean? I have no idea. But it's air support. Same thing with arachnophobia. You want that? You should get it. Um, I don't know what any of these things mean. They might explain to you when once you buy them. Um, that seems like a lot of money to spend on figuring it out. So I won't pretend to understand any of these things, but you've got three tiers of them. So tier one is not as good as tier two, but definitely not as good as tier three. three tier three is probably the best. I'm assuming because it costs more too. And that's just like real life, right? If you spend more money on something, it's got to be worth more uh, things. So, on that note, you can also go to your packs and unlocks, and this is where you don't have to spend real real cash, but in-game money that you can earn, and you can earn all of these things. A mere eight and a half million for the Demir Assassin. Seems worth it. Um, you can also sell, and the way these work is you're selling your spell pages. So you go here, if you need some extra cash, and you think you have something you're not going to ever use, Let's take a look at what that might be. Let's say that I'm going to, I'm going to find a, so I, I know the Experimental uh, Sentinel was a, a creature that I liked when I first got it, but it's a colorless creature. There's probably a lot of room for it at some point, but I'm not a big fan of it. So right now I can sell it, the pages that I do have, uh, 80 stacks, which I don't even know. Do I have 80 stacks? Let's see what happens when I try to sell 80 stacks or 22 thousand eight hundred gold hey i did it and i've got 27 so hey look i just sold something now i don't have any stacks and don't have any trade tokens 
So I have to wait for a 10 hour cooldown and then I can cash something out and make more money. So that's how you sell things. That's a good example. And I know it's a spell that I won't use. Now, don't sell things that you might use, even on another build, because there is a way to leverage all colors. So don't get too excited and say, oh, well, this is a, a white mage, so I'm not going to use red spells. Let's get rid of everything. One, you have a you have a um, a trade token limit. You're not able to sell things uh, constantly, because if I try to sell things again, it won't even let me. Let me find something that I have. No, I have this. Didn't have to, so it's not even letting me look at it because I don't have enough trade tokens. So we have to wait for this cooldown. So 10 hours, I can do it again. So that's how they gate the amount of um, transactions you can you can do. Same thing with buying. If I want to buy something really bad, well, now I'm already on cooldown because buying and selling uses the same transaction tokens. So be aware of that. If you're gonna, if you need money, sell. If you need something here, pay, these are pages. And this is how you build up your spells. I can go into that in way more detail at another time. But you find something you want, like, hey, I want to level up my Phantasmagoria. I go here. I see what's available in the market. Sometimes things aren't available if they're popular. So you have to kind of come back to the market often. And if you want to get those spell pages, you spend the amount of gold. So in this case, 12 spell pages for every 262 gold you spend. Okay. Well, I don't want to make this video too much longer. I think we've explored, again, say goodbye. It's the polite thing to do. I think we've explored all the excitement, exciting things here. Let me just go over here in this corner because it looks like an interesting staircase. Hey, what's over here? Uh, nothing. Restrooms, a crane, a couple of crates. Hmm, all right. That wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. But that, what was that guy doing down here? Hey, suspicious, what were you doing? This big, oh, just sitting cross-legged in, uh, in the field. I like it. It's a cool fountain. All right, what else do we have going on over here? I don't think anything. I think that's the full tour of the Sanctum. And this person looks like they're... I'm going to stand over here. Maybe they're doing a fashion show. Hey, look at my outfit, everybody. If everyone stands on these things, and we can make, like, a statement, that would be neat. So we're going to stand here and see if people follow. We're just going to position ourselves in the very center. Ah, nice. Look at that. Outfit showcase. It's weird that it, I'm not centered now. I, would, I don't know why that bothers me. I want to be centered. Okay, good. All right, so uh, yeah, this is where you stand to be noticed. If you want to... I'm here, and if I can dance, I think dance number three is the robot. Let me try that again. Dance three. Huh. All right. Well, they still haven't fixed the game. Very buggy. We can't dance um, on command. So with that, I'm going to wrap up the, the um, video. Thanks for watching. If you want more amazing content and PvP mastery, you just have to come back and uh, or ask for it in the comments if you want to see anything specific about the game otherwise i'm gonna yeah perfect see that's what i'm talking about you you just become the trendsetter you do things and people follow suit so we've got am lambert i appreciate your your uh i mean that's just great now if we get this dude smiley kaz to move over and we're gonna all be in perfect position i would love to see this work right now during the video but I can only hope. Um, anyways, like, follow, subscribe, or don't. Uh, it's up to you. Hopefully I'm delivering content that you enjoy. And also follow me on Twitch. Come over and see me live streaming so you can ask questions in real time. I'd be happy to help any new players. My intent here is to make this game, um, which can be a little bit daunting when you first start, like any game. But if I can make it easier or more enjoyable for you to level up and have fun playing, then, uh, then I'm doing what I like to do. So appreciate you being here, taking the time. If you're here to the end, that's a special place. You have a special place in my heart because you are uh, tolerating me. And like I said, um, I really do appreciate that. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your week.